hope you are well. Happy almost Valentine's Day. I figured today we could just do a little Valentine's Day prep, get in the spirit, get in the mood. I really haven't thought of Valentine's Day that much. I feel like I've just been, my mind has been elsewhere, kind of busy with other life and work things, but I love Valentine's Day. I think it is so cute. I even loved it when I was single. It's just so fun with all the hearts and the pink and the red. It's just adorable. So I wanted to just, again, get in the spirit. So we'll paint our nails, make some heart-shaped waffles, of course, and just do other cute things like that. So I'm excited to spend the day with you all, but I need to get something. I need to just share something with you. So this morning I woke up and as I do every morning these days, I went on the Pet Finder app, which is an app that just collects all of the listings of local pets up for adoption at local rescues. So I went on the app because if you didn't know, um, Brandon and I, my husband, we are actually looking for a dog. We have been for a few months now and we've just been applying and just trying to keep tabs on all the Facebook pages and adoption listings. So, you know, we've been trying to be patient and this morning, I saw one that is just the most precious little puppy and they just listed him this morning. So I immediately applied. I was just like, oh my goodness, I need to apply for him right this instant, instant. So instant, right this instant. So I did. And about an hour or two hours after I sent in the application, I got a text message saying that they would like to schedule a virtual home visit. So basically that's just when like you show them your home, so like where the pet would live and you kind of get to talk to them a bit more. And so we have a home visit scheduled for a sweet puppy and I'm just over the moon. I'm trying not to get too excited because you know, it may not be the right one, it may not be the right fit. So I'm just trying to, you know, stay calm, trust the process and have faith that we will find our perfect puppy no matter what. So I'm trying not to get too invested, but honestly, I am already daydreaming of this puppy being in my home and doing all the fun things with it. So yeah, that's kind of, if I'm a little distracted today, that is what I'm thinking about. I am in puppy la la land, but I mean, you guys are going to be seeing this after, but if you can just send all the puppy prayers and just happiness that would be greatly appreciated so yeah it's been kind of an exciting morning <laughs> to say the least but now i'm gonna work on these heart-shaped waffles it's already almost lunchtime, but you know we're just gonna have some heart-shaped waffles for brunch and i'm gonna do some of the dark chocolate ones and then some just regular ones so it'll be super yummy and i'll serve it with some strawberries which we're gonna use some strawberries to make a little valentine's day inspired coffee later so that'll be fun but i'm excited to spend the day with you all here's my cozy and super festive outfit of the day we have this heart-shaped sweater on which is just so precious i've had it for many years from forever 21 and if you've watched my vlog since college you may remember seeing this i distinctly remember wearing it when i dyed my hair pink which if you didn't know i dyed my hair like super super pink i'll insert a picture um and i went to dunkin donuts to get heart-shaped donuts with my friends natalia and leslie so i really just have a distinct memory like i said it also has a super bad mustard stain which i've tried to get out multiple times but it's just on the sleeve so that's kind of why I roll it up to make it less noticeable, but I just can't bear to give it away because I love wearing it around Valentine's Day. So we have that on and then just some loungewear pants and pink slippers. This yumminess it is so cute we have our dark chocolate and just regular waffles and our Valentine is actually in the kitchen so 
We can give him his special treat. He's just having an appetizer of some hummus and pita chips. Mm, that really goes well. <laughs> Such a combo. Thank you, babe. Awesome. You're welcome. Enjoy. That was such a delicious little brunch situation. I made the plain waffles from scratch, like I just made the batter from scratch, and it was a little off. I don't know what I did wrong, but they were really thick. Maybe I didn't have enough oil or liquid, but it's okay, I still ate them while it was still good enough to eat, but definitely not like the yummiest recipe, so I'll try something different next time. But while I was eating, I got my Target delivery. I think I mentioned that I ordered some heart stickers for my nails from Target. So it came just in time for us to do our nails. I'm really excited about them. They're the Olive and June stickers, which I've never used them before, but my friend Faith, she uses them a lot and she loves them. And I've heard great things. And someone actually messaged me on Instagram sending, like they were just shopping in Target and they saw them and they sent them to me. Um, like, oh, I thought of you when I saw these. I think I think you would like these and it's so funny because I had just ordered them so Small world you guys just get me. I also ordered a couple other things from Target Including some organization and some makeup. So I'll do a little random haul Okay, here's what we have So I actually ordered two of these uh, clear containers for our pantry. It's funny they put this little paper and it looks like there's a bunch of goldfish in here. Um, but I'm going to be doing a pantry organization video and makeover super soon. So that'll be posted in March, so next month. But I'm just kind of like planning it and brainstorming it because I'm actually going to like transform our pantry a little bit. So I'm looking forward to that. So I just wanted to order two of these because these are good for just dry goods. We always have tortilla chips and pita chips in our pantry. So I think that's what I'm going to put in these containers, but I don't know. Again, I'm still brainstorming. I also plan to go to Ikea tomorrow and they always have a lot of good storage and organization items. So I'll add more to my collection. There's still a lot of spots in our home that I want to organize. Okay. The next thing I got is this Maybelline super stay 24 hour full coverage foundation and I have never tried this before. Here's a close up of what it looks like. I'll probably try it out later this week and I'll let you guys know what I think. But basically, if you remember in one of my most recent vlogs, I posted about the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. And when I ordered that lip gloss, I actually got two free samples and one of them is the Born This Way foundation sample. And I loved it. It was amazing. And I looked up for dupes of, you know, that foundation, like just more inexpensive ones. And this is the one that people recommended. So I'm going to give it a try. And if I like it, then I'll just buy this and keep using that. But if I don't, then I'll take the plunge and purchase the more expensive toothpaste one. So that's kind of my plan. I'd like to try to do a less expensive option, but if the quality just isn't up to par, then I will splurge on the Born This Way one. The next thing is this e.l.f. Wow Brow Natural Brow Volumizing Brow Gel. And this is apparently like the Boy Brow Glossier one. Glossier one and I have just been craving this for just like an easy way to do my brows in the morning when I'm doing my makeup Right now I just use a thin angled brush with some brown eyeshadow, but I feel like this will just be a lot easier and Honestly, just look more natural. So I'm excited to try that out and then here are the stickers. Oh my goodness They are so perfect for Valentine's Day So super cute so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take my nail polish off because it's just chipping and kind of all over the place and then I'll file my nails down and I'm also going to paint my toenails as well. I don't know if I'm gonna add stickers to my toes but definitely my nails. So I'm excited to do this. I'll probably put something on the TV. I'm wondering what I should watch. Maybe I'll just listen to a podcast or something or some music. Honestly, I feel like I need to listen to music because my head, again, is just racing and thinking about <laughs> this puppy. And so listening to music, I'm able to kind of think more. But if I try to listen to a podcast or watch a show, 
I can't really think and watch something at the same time. You guys know what I mean. So I'll probably just put on some cute music and we'll do our nails. Alrighty, I've got all the goods, the nail polish, towel, stickers, cotton balls, nail polish remover, and a paper towel too if I need to wipe any. And this is the nail polish I've been using. It's the Essie Gel nail polish. I'm not exactly sure of the name, but I will link it below if you'd like to check it out. And I really do like it. It definitely stays longer than just typical normal nail polish like this one for instance. This is just like $1 nail polish and definitely chips more quickly. So I think the quality is definitely better, but I really do miss getting my nails done and I want to start doing it again soon and going to the salon and getting the dip powder nail polish just because it's so worth it to me because it lasts seriously weeks longer than just painting my nails at home. So I don't know. I think it's good to kind of switch it up and of course getting your nails done at the salon can get pretty pricey so you just kind of have to prioritize and see what's best for you and if you want to you know include that in your budget or not which i think i've come to the consensus that it's worth it just because i love having my nails done and you know doing it at home i have to do it once or twice a week so definitely takes more time but you know it's still great it's still fun sometimes painting my nails i feel like it's super therapeutic and i like to do it while i just watch or listen to something so yeah it's still good and this is a really pretty color i forgot to tell you what the shade is where do i even see oh, okay it's at the top it is pre-show jitters also i put on some pink lipstick some bright pink lipstick so we can just continue being the most festive as possible so let's do it and let's see what the directions are i think it's pretty self-explanatory oh i like this okay so it says go for a single accent nail or layer stickers to create a unique look hmm i like the ones where they put the hearts at the bottom of your nails, so like right there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I need to get a nail file, so I'll go grab that in a second. What are you guys even doing for Valentine's Day? Let me know if you have any fun plans. Brandon and I, we actually have a tradition of going to a local garden. And in the past years, they've done a concert, an outdoor concert, where they have three or four different bands just kind of spread out throughout the garden and you can set up a little picnic and a blanket and it's usually super chilly when we go so it's super cozy to like bring blankets and co a cozy meal and listen to the music and just kind of cuddle in a beautiful garden it's actually so magical but this year with everything going on unfortunately they are not doing it they are actually hosting an outdoor movie though where you can go and like social distance and wear your mask and stuff but we just figured like we'd love to keep the tradition but since they're not even you know doing the same concert thing we're just gonna skip it this year and you know we'd rather just stay home especially like i mentioned we've been kind of busy just with life and work stuff so the idea of just staying home all weekend and you know cooking or ordering food and working on house projects sounds the most fun to me so that's our plan it's a little different like i kind of am sad to break a tradition but of course like it's still gonna be sweet and special and i'm not like that sentimental about it so it's all good but i'd love to hear what you guys are up to if you're gonna do anything fun i know there's mixed feelings about valentine's day but i just think it's i love holidays in general if you haven't noticed i just think it just I just think they add a little excitement to life and just another excuse to celebrate. So that's how I feel. But I'm gonna turn on music, like I said, and get these nails looking all cute. but I'm waiting to put on the stickers until they're completely dry because that's what it said to do. So I'm just going to get some work done right now and I'm actually about to make a list of just questions I have during my little virtual home visit for the puppy tonight. Um, just because 
I want to make sure I get any questions that I have answered and it goes smoothly but <laughs> I've honestly been on the verge of tears all day happy tears just like emotional tears because we seriously have been praying and hoping for a dog for so long now and it feels like we're really really close so I just keep praying and keep kind of hoping, getting all in my feels, but that's just what I'm going to work on now. And then after we get our stickers on, we're going to make our Valentine's Day themed coffee. And the title of it is, what did I say? Oh, strawberry cream iced coffee. So I'm going to do a little strawberry and cream blend, and I think it'll turn a little pink as well with when I mash up the strawberries a bit. So I don't know. We'll experiment, but I think it's going to be super delicious. products let me get it to focus this side of or this hand looks way better than this hand but I think they look super cute I really like the stickers it was super easy to put on some of them did actually break when I was trying to peel them off the package but I I honestly will probably use tweezers next time just so I can handle them easier but look how cute they are it's super simple and subtle but also just super fun and perfect for valentine's day i also wanted to show you guys our wedding book i finally got a wedding book made after two years of marriage and i actually surprised brandon with it as a wedding anniversary gift slash valentine's day gift so this is all i'm getting him this year it was quite expensive i will say but definitely worth it in such a precious and you know timeless keepsake that we can just show our family and future kids one day our future dog one day <laughs> um so it's just like a collection of all of our wedding photos and the pages are super thick which is nice it's from artifact uprising which i've ordered stuff from there before and they always just have really good quality so i knew they would do a good job there's this is at our first look actually and then this was also at our first look we had our neon sign and a pink couch so cute brings back all of the memories this was all of these were from our first look we actually took the majority of our wedding photos before our wedding even started and then here we are at the ceremony we also have our wedding video on youtube so i'll link it down below if you want to see it our first kiss me crying at the altar us us making our way down the aisle together oh so sweet the best day her first dance eating cake <laughs> so many good memories so i'm glad we finally have this i'm just keeping it on our coffee table right now but once we get our media console table i think i'm gonna move it on there just because you know having it on the coffee table does make me a tiny bit nervous because I put coffee on the coffee table and other drinks. Sometimes we eat at the coffee table too. So I definitely don't want it to get stained. So I'll probably just move it over there once we get that piece of furniture. I'm going pretty light on the Valentine's Day decorations this year, but I do have this heart-shaped faux floral wreath that I figured I might as well put up. So I'm gonna put it on our back door. It's a dizzy day. Here are our ingredients for the strawberry cream coffee. So we have two strawberries that are already washed and I'm gonna try to cut one into sort of a heart shape and just put it on the edge. Or I may just slice it and then put it on the edge, I'm not sure yet. And then this one, it's absolutely huge and I'm just gonna cut it into small pieces and then put it in my mortar and pestle, which 
you don't need one of these you can just kind of smush it however you can you can even do it with a fork which i could totally do and just put it maybe I'll, i won't even use this yeah we'll simplify and not even use this so i'm just going to cut it into small pieces and then put it in a little glass cup and then i'm going to add in my creamer which i have this vanilla almond milk creamer with coconut from the califia farms and this is my top all-time favorite creamer so if you're looking for a good one it's great it doesn't curdle in hot coffee either which is wonderful so i'll take that and then froth it with my handheld frother and then this is my cold brew so i'm going to just put the cold brew over ice and then put my little strawberry cream on top Feels like I've been here a thousand years Could you bring some light to me? Here's our little cream. It's so cute. It's like the perfect little pale pink color. And if you don't have a handheld frother, you could always use a blender to do this. Just take a little bit of cream and then your strawberries. And I'm just kind of mashing it down with my frother as I go. Also, I did want to point out that my creamer is vanilla, so it already has a bit of sweetness. But if you want to kind of make your coffee a bit more sweet, you can just add some sugar or some vanilla syrup. I've already had a few sips and it's good. I feel like I taste the strawberry and the cream a little bit, but it's not overpowering. Cause to be honest, I don't really, I've, I've tried different fruit and coffee and I know coffee actually is a fruit. If you didn't know coffee beans. So that's kind of cool, but mixing, I know some people do orange and coffee and this has definitely been done before some kind of version of this. Um, but I've never really gravitated towards that. Usually when I want some kind of flavored coffee, I like caramel and chocolate and vanilla, kind of the more standard and coconut, the more standard, which coconut's a fruit, right? So <laughs> that kind of works, but I usually wouldn't gravitate towards this, but it tastes really nice. And I feel like it's the perfect amount of strawberry. Again, it's not overpowering and it's great too, that we used actual real strawberry opposed to strawberry syrup because my thing is with strawberry syrup and blue any kind of berry or cherry syrup lots of times it can remind me of cough medicine or cold medicine i used to take as a kid which i absolutely hated so i'm glad it doesn't remind me of that whatsoever and it's just very refreshing and you do taste that vanilla creamer so I would give this an A++ and the cuteness factor is through the roof. So I hope you guys like this little idea and let me know if you end up recreating it yourself. Okay, I changed this cute little t-shirt. I've shared this before in one of my previous vlogs, but it's this little flower tee from Forever 21. And I just had my little home visit virtual call and I think it went well. She was so, so sweet and nice and basically said I should be hearing more details to, by end of day tomorrow at the latest. So I don't know, we'll see. Oh no, end of day Friday. So that's in two days, but we'll see. I'm just gonna keep praying and just kind of, you know, staying calm and just trusting that it'll all work out some way or another like well we're gonna end up with a sweet dog someday i really do believe that and maybe this will be the one maybe it won't but anyways i am going to get started on dinner now so for tonight i'm gonna make a cozy soup i've actually made this before i made it in december and it was really yummy and healthful it's a half-baked harvest recipe and it's i'm kind of forgetting it on the top of my head I think it's smoked potato and kale soup, something like that. But again, super simple to make. I have my Dutch oven out, so I'll just kind of chop at, chop all of the ingredients, throw it in my Dutch oven, and then dinner will be ready super soon. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure When 
all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So be here as the night starts falling Let my fingers walk over your head delicious and now I'm just gonna get ready for bed and edit this vlog sorry it's gonna get really dark because I'm going upstairs oh and the light didn't turn on let me find my light hello here I am turn the light on um, before I end the vlog I wanted to tell you about our sheets because I posted about them on Instagram but I never really told you that much about them and they are truly the best. Brandon and I have been loving them. They're from West Elm and they're the tensile sheets. I'll link them below. They're a bit pricier than just like, you could get sheets for less money, of course, but they are so worth it because they are so buttery and soft and just our favorite. So I wanted to share. I'm like about to show you, but it's not like you can feel it through the screen or anything, but they're just so soft. So if you're in the market for new sheets, I wanted to share. Also, a bed update. If you saw a few vlogs back, our bed frame arrived, but it was missing the headboard part. So like half of the whole bed and it was this whole ordeal, but they said it's finally shipped and they gave me tracking number and it's supposed to come this Friday. So fingers crossed, we'll see, but that's a little bed update and a little sheet recommendation for you. But yeah, we're just gonna end the night here and keep praying and hoping for another pup date soon but i hope you guys have a beautiful valentine's day and a beautiful weekend and i cannot wait to see you super soon bye bye <laughs>